Good Friday morning, South Florida. The time is 646. And I did confirm from the National Weather Service that yesterday we had a warm record low in Miami, uh, Fort Lauderdale, excuse me, of 83 degrees, which broke the record of 82 set back in 2022. Now, I think here in Miami and Fort Lauderdale, we could do it again this morning. We are setting the stage for another hot, humid day. It's so hot, we have a heat advisory in place again, meaning our heat advisory is expecting. Wow, look at that sunrise. Ooh. It's heating us up already. Our feels like temperature is expected to reach 105 to 110 degrees for two consecutive hours or longer. Wow, what a spectacular shot. I just saw it break over the cloud cover, and this is a great way to start your Friday, though it is already warm, and I think we will be setting uh, again under the warm record low with these lows in the low to mid 80s, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Key West. We actually wish it felt that way with the ocean air in place. Winds anywhere between three to seven miles per hour or dew points in the mid to upper 70s off the charts for our dew points, making it feel like 90 degrees in Fort Lauderdale, 89 in Miami, 95 in Key West and 90 in Key Largo. As for rain, we're not expecting much this morning, but my in-house model does pull some afternoon sea breeze storms, which will be beneficial from this heat. Hopefully bring us a few degrees cooler from time to time. Nationally, we have this storm system across parts of the Midwest. Otherwise, the ridge of high pressure out west and here in the East Coast is what the nation's talking about because millions of Americans still dealing with the heat wave. Only an isolated area of severe weather could be possible. As we wake up this morning, we're noticing temperatures in the 90s out west. We have the mid to upper 70s here on the East Coast and for Texas and us, we're in the 80s. But it's the national view of the extreme heat from the Pacific Northwest to the Southwest to the East Coast to the Northeast we're talking about. Look at this. It's going to be 100 degrees in Washington, D.C. and Raleigh. Hotter in the Northeast areas than us here in South Florida. And again, the heat wave continues out West, unfortunately, not helping for the fires they're trying to fight. For us, we have that dry air aloft, so that's suppressing widespread chance of showers and storms. But with the heat in place today, the peak heating of the day will help spark the sea breeze storms. And with the winds calm enough, we could see some of the storms migrate towards the metro coastal areas. But overall, the forecast again, just hinting some sea breeze storms, not just today, but also leading into the weekend. Plenty of dry times to get outside and enjoy, but make sure you're staying hydrated with this heat in place. Low risk of occurrence for beachgoers, boaters. The bays will be smooth with no advisory. Seven day forecast looks good. We've got highs in the 90s, typical for this time of year with those sea breeze afternoon storms.